So this ESP32 board can help you to do the speech to text conversion in just the matter of three second. Crazy fast, isn't it? And just think about the type of projects that you can make with this. Like you can give the voice control feature to any of the IoT projects that you already have without the dependency of external voice assistant. So this I think is the fast and most reliable code for speech to text using the ESP32 board. So don't skip this video and watch it till the end. And now let's start with the hardware part of the project. So to make this project, you will need an ESP32 board a i2s microphone module, SD card module and a supported SD card for it. Now all these components are available at the best price on internet on our website techiesms.com and for your convenience we have created the bundle of all the components required for this project so you can buy everything in one single click. The link of the bundle is in the description. And later after getting all the components you need to connect them all according to this connection diagram. And later to make this project handy, we started shouldering the components on a general purpose PCB. So now by the time I finish shouldering, why don't you have a look over the sponsor of today's video which has something for our Indian audience as well. Have a look. So this video is sponsored by LTM and we are all familiar with their secure collaborative design platform LTM365. But let me tell you one of its really interesting features. So with the integration of Silicon Expert, now you can visualize all the important parameters of the components all in one place. Let me show you a quick demo. In LTM365, just go to the manufacturing part search option. Here you can search for any component you want to use. Just click on get data from silicon expert and it will pull all the crucial parameters of the components in one place. Below that you'll also see a suggestions for alternative components along with the ratings on how well each one suits a direct replacement. Pretty interesting right? And now if you're a student from India, well LTM has launched LTM Student Lab where you can sign up with your university email ID to get access to LTM 365 online courses and can even get certification directly from LTM and this will definitely help your resume to stand out and will give you a great boost in your design career. Well I'll be laying away all the important links down to the description so be sure to check them out. So later after shouldering all the components the final project looks like this. And now after the hardware part let's move on to the coding part of the project. So here is the code for converting our speech to text. Now here let me tell you, we haven't wrote the code, rather we took the reference of the original code written by Carlo Projects, which is uploaded on his GitHub repository. Now this code is much more than just speech to text. It let also convert the text to speech and got more features. So we kind of, uh, you know, trimmed that code for just speech to text to make it you know a very dedicated code for doing the speech to text only and later you can uh, apply your projects your logics in this code so that's what we did but here i would like to give a huge shout out to carlo projects github repository and also if you really like this video the concept the the code well do comment below thanks carlo projects because he's the one who provided the complete code uh, everything integrated like the API, the audio I2S library, everything was integrated by him. Okay, so now before moving on to the code, we need to do two things. One is the library and the board package version check. Second is the DeepGram API. So for the versions, first of all, here I'm using the Arduino ID version 2.3.2. The ESP32 board package version is the latest 3.0.4. And here only one library is being used, which is the uh, audio.h library. You can click here to go to that uh, library page and if you already have that library kindly delete that because this is an updated version so you just need to download uh, the zip file of this library later you can go to sketch include library into add zip library and just select that zip file which you have just downloaded and it will be automatically installed in your computer so that was all about the first step now second step is we need to create the deep gram api now here the deep gram platform is used for converting the speech to text earlier we have used the uh, google speech to text conversion apis but when i asked carlo about why he chose deep gram then he said uh, deep gram is first of all a very fast speech to text conversion platform that we already seen in the beginning like just three seconds for converting that speech into text secondly it also supports the pre-recorded files so what we are doing in this code we are recording the file the audio storing an SD card and later we are sending that file to the server and later it is converting the text format. Third point he said is it is kind of available for free of cost as well like not completely free but initially when you make your account you'll be getting a $200 credits in your account and that $200 credits is like 
way more than enough to run the project for maybe a couple of months. If I tell you about my scenario, then we are using this since a month. And on the screen, as you can see, we are still left with more than $190 of credit. So these were a couple of points that he told me. And that's the reason he chose Deepgram. So let's just create the Deepgram account and get the API key. For that, we'll go to this deepgram.com website. Let's just click on sign up for free. Here, I'll sign up with my Google account. And as you can see, I got a $200 credit already here. And let's just click on create API key to generate our API key. Let's just give the name as STT space techie SMS. Set expiration never. I never want to expire my key until unless the balance is over. So I'll copy it. Got it. And now I can paste that API key into this third INO file here. Okay, so that's the API key. Now below that here, you can also select the STD, the speech to text language. So here I choose as Indian English, you can change it according to your accent, your location. Here are some of the examples given that you can choose US English, Indian English, and I don't know about DE, but that kind of abbreviations you can use for you know your accent. So that was all about the deep gram. And now we'll go to the main code. And here let's try to understand how the code is working. First of all, here I provided the connection diagram. Okay, the pin numbers on which the SD card module mic is connected. Let us to provide the SID name and password of our Wi-Fi router because this do need internet connectivity for converting the speech to text. Then here are the pin configurations. So record button is at 36 GPIO and LED is on digital pin 2, which is nothing but the built-in LED. And later in the code, what we are doing is we are waiting for the button to be pressed. So as soon as the button is pressed, we are starting the recording. Okay, so first of all, we are recording the audio file and storing it in the .wav format inside our SD card. That task is done in this particular uh, INO file. You can refer it. And Carlo did a really great job here as well. He just commented each and every line beautifully in detailed manner so you can understand it thoroughly okay so after storing it into the sd card later it is given to the third iono file which is for transcription in which it will be calling the deep gram api which is here as you can see all the headers are being passed here along with our audio file as well and later we'll be getting the response from the server and that will be printed in this format with all the details, like how much time it took, what was the transcription, what was the uh, what was the transcription, what was the language, everything will be printed here. Now here the by default uh, timeout period is written as 12 seconds. So it will wait till 12 seconds to get the response from the server. If it doesn't get, we need to speak out once again. You can change this uh, timeout period according to your convenience. So basically that was the complete overview of the code, not the detailed explanation. Obviously detailed explanation, you can get it from the comments of the code. I'll be providing this particular code in the description and also the GitHub repository of Carlo projects into the description. But basically that's the code. You just need to do three changes, SA name, password, and the deep gram API key here. That's it. Now let's just uh, try to upload the code. And for that, I already connected it with my computer. So you need to select the right component. First of all, later, the board should be ESP32 development module. And into the tools, you need to change the partition scheme as no OTA 2 MB APP 2 MB SPIFs. Select this and now you can hit the upload button and with all the settings done correctly, your code will compile successfully and will be uploaded as well. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded onto our ESP32 board and now let us try out a couple of speech to text commands and see its response. How are you? Let's try with a very basic one. Okay, so how are you was recognized and it took around 2.29 seconds, pretty fast. Let's try out a longer command. What is the capital of India? Let us see. Okay, it got recognized. What is the capital of India? A bit more time taken, 5.54 seconds. Let us try out a way longer command than this. What is the capital of India, Japan and China? Okay, this time it was not recognized. Uh, now there are a couple of errors during this uh, transcription, maybe the noisy recording, maybe longer time of response from the server side. There are a lot of reasons of not recognizing it for 100% of time, but let's just try it out once again. What is the capital of India, Japan and China? Okay, this time it got recognized. What is the capital of India, Japan, China? It took 4.99 seconds, which is also pretty fast. So that's how it is working and sometimes it may miss out your commands, but most of the time this will definitely work. 
So that's how you can do the speech to text conversion easily and quickly with the help of the DeepGram API. And you can also try out the code from Carlo Project's GitHub repository, which got way more features than just speech to text conversion. And now let me end this video by teasing you about what's coming next on our channel with the help of the same concept. Who are you? I am a large language model trained by Google. I can generate text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. Isn't that super amazing project? Well, this comment below is super amazing if you really love that project and want to see its video as soon as possible. And just subscribe our channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss out that upcoming video. And yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.